Right guys, it's that time of the year again, it's the beginning of the Champions League and Europa League qualifiers. Now yes, I know the World Cup's on, but for a Scotland fan, this is as good as it gets. The fact that you get to support some Scottish teams in qualifying for one or two rounds before they get pumped out, because it's not like we ha ever have a team to support in the international tournaments, whether it be the World Cup or the Euros. It's been a long time since we were able to support Scotland. 1998, man, fuck that. At least with the Champions League and Europe League qualifiers, every year we can support teams, even if, they all get, even if they're all shite apart from Celtic and they all get knocked out. Doesn't matter. For like a month, you, you feel great, man. You've got like four different teams to support. It's, it's fucking fantastic. This is our World Cup. Fuck the Russia 2018 World Cup. It's all about the uh, <laughs> European qualifiers, man. This is it. So anyway, Celtic started off their Champions League campaign this year with a great 3-0 victory away to Armenian champions Alish Kerr. Now the, free, the reason I say it's great is because I think the 3-0 flatters them. This Alish Kerr were played alright and they're, they're, not, they're not as bad a team as people would expect them to be and if you actually look at the stats they did give Celtic a good game. Uh, roughly the same amount of shots, roughly the same possession and Alish Kerr I, I feel like they'll be unlucky to lose 3 0. Um, Celtic got a goal late, late, late in the first half. Edward making it 1 0 to Celtic just before the break. And then, with like nine minutes remaining, James Forrest gets the goal. The assist came from uh, Jack Henry, the new signing for Dundee. And then McGregor scored in the 90th minute. And to give Celtic the 3-0 win, and this will confirm their place in the next round. There's no way Celtic are going to lose at home. Sometimes they're a bit vulnerable away, but they ain't going to give away a 3-0 home at uh, Celtic Park. No way. Um, Forrest had a great game. Has to be man of the match. He, he got the second goal and he set up the assist for both the first and the third. So, James Forrest definitely man of the match. Interesting to see that no Scott Sinclair started. Perhaps he was just being rested. I don't know if there was any fitness issues, maybe Brendan Rodgers you know, didn't feel the need to play him, but uh, Scott Sinclair was only good enough for the bench. Uh, it was a 4-4-3 for Rodgers. He went with uh, Craig Gordon and Nets over Scott Bain. I think there was some debate whether Bain would be the number one this year, but it looks like maybe he's still going to go with Gordon. The back four, Tierney, Adger, Simunovic, Hendry, Nashim, Brown and McGregor in front of them. And then an attacking three of Edward, Dembele and James Forrest. And it seemed to pay off. Uh, Brendan Rodgers went for it. He went rather attacking. And he, he's finished the tie in the first leg. So, you know, great job for him. Takes the pressure off Celtic. And they will be in the next round. And who they'll be drawn against. I, I believe it was, was it not Rosenberg? Did they not get Rosenberg? In? I think the draw's already been made. I made a video on it, so I should fucking know this. I believe it is at Rosenberg in the next round, but we'll just have to wait and see. So, there you go, guys. Celtic 3-0 win. Yes, there's still an all 90 minutes to go, but this tie is over. No doubt about it. Uh, let me know your predictions down below. Do you think Celtic will win their second round game against Rosenberg? And then I'll probably do some match previews for Hibernian and Rangers, who I believe start their qualifying campaign tomorrow night. But anyway, guys, there you go. Alex Kertnell, Celtic 3. Um, good result. And yeah, that's it. Tie over, man. Till next time. Peace.